hello students in this video i'm going to explain about parallel flow heat exchanger and uh, counter flow heat exchanger uh, the steps to solve simple problem of heat exchanger first uh, parallel flow heat exchanger uh, first i will tell you the notations which i considered uh, based on uh, heat transfer data handbook hot fluid entry from left and left side it is t1 hot fluid out outlet or hot fluid exit is capital t2 so hot for hot fluid it is capital t1 and capital t2 are the uh, temperatures at uh, entry and exit and uh, small t1 and small t2 are the temperature of cold fluid at the entry and exit in parallel flow heat exchanger cold fluid enters from this left hand side left side and uh, it just uh, pass in this way and it its exit is in the right side and uh, in the same direction hot fluid direction is also in the same direction as of cold fluid so both are uh, both will uh, uh, pass through the heat exchanger in parallel in the same direction that's why it's called as parallel flow heat exchanger so it's uh, it also shows the same so this is inner tube and this is the outer tube uh, an inner tube uh, hot fluid is flowing and in the outer tube cold fluid is flowing so here i explain the notations this is the graphical representation of uh, uh, parallel flow heat exchanger i mean temperature changes so this line indicates hot fluid temperature uh, change and this line indicates cold fluid temperature change so hot fluid it the temperature decreases as it passes through the heat exchanger and cold fluid temperature increases uh, by absorbing the hot fluid the heat from the hot fluid and um, you can say cap capital t1 here hot fluid entry and this is capital t2 hot fluid exit and from the left hand side itself the uh, small t1 cold fluid entry and small t2 cold fluid exit we can observe here the temperature difference at the entry is more and uh, at the exit is it's very very less almost near to the uh, the hot fluid outlet temperature so that much temperature will be getting and the difference between a hot fluid entry and cold fluid entry temperature is delta t1 and a hot fluid exit and cold fluid exit temperature is delta t2 so here i have given that one this is the uh, temp uh, the formula to find out heat transfer rate q or uh, uh, overall heat transfer coefficient u area surface area of uh, inner tube and lmtd uh, q equal to u into lmtd so this lmtd will find out with the help of this formula lmtd equal to delta t1 minus delta t2 divided by ln delta t1 by delta t2 here uh, the delta t1 delta t2 i already explained delta t1 equal to capital t1 minus small t1 delta t2 equal to capital t2 minus small t2 uh, for uh, heat transfer rate q there is a one more uh, equation i mean it's for hot fluid and the one another uh, equation for cold fluid separately and this q is for heat exchanger this q is heat exchanger uh, q equal to mh cph into capital t1 minus capital t2 for hot fluid m q equal to mc cpc uh, small t2 minus small t1 it's for cold fluid uh, here mh uh, is mass flow rate of hot fluid in kg per second mc is mass flow rate of cold fluid in kg per second and cph is specific heat of hot fluid uh, in kilojoule per kg kelvin cpc is specific heat of cold fluid in kilojoule per kg kelvin one more heat exchanger is called counter flow heat exchanger here uh, you can see the c this cold fluid entries from left side to right side and hot fluid entries uh, hot fluid flow from right to left so the direction of flow is opposite in this 
counter flow heat exchanger. Uh, cold fluid flows in one direction and in the opposite direction there is a hot fluid flow. So because of this, the, uh, this uh, the temperature difference between hot and cold fluid will be same throughout the heat exchanger. So that will increase the uh, effectiveness of the heat exchanger. As we know for the heat transfer rate, uh, temp temperature difference is one of the most important uh, parameter. Uh, so based on that, this is uh, called as effective heat exchanger. And uh, here also the same thing it, it's showing like in inner tube, hot fluid is flowing in the one direction and in the outer tube, the cold fluid is flowing in the other direction. And this is graphical represent representation, the temperature change. So this line indicates hot fluid temperature change and this line indicates cold fluid temperature change. Just observe the arrow mark shown. So this is uh, entry to exit in this way, T1, capital T1 to capital T2 hot fluid uh, temperature. And uh, you can see the direction is opposite in this uh, cold fluid. So the mark, uh, small T1 to small T2. The difference, so here delta T1, delta T2, uh we have given the notation but the difference will be same uh, it's different compared to parallel flow heat exchanger delta t1 is equal to capital t1 minus small t2 delta t2 equal to capital t2 minus small t1 so you need to refer this uh, graphical representation of temperature while writing delta t1 and delta t2 so i'll explain the steps uh, in solving simple problem of a heat exchanger. First, you need to write uh, in step one, write the given data, all the temperatures, uh, mass flow rate, and uh, specific heat, whatever the given data is there in the question, so that you need to write. Second, find the unknown temperature of the of T1, T2, cap, small T1, small T2 by using uh, Q equal to MHCPH, T1 minus T2 equal to MCCPC T2, small t2 minus small t1. So here uh, in this uh, problem, LMTD problem, he will give you three any three temperatures out of this. Any three temperatures will be given. For example, uh, hot fluid entry, hot fluid exit, or cold fluid entry will be given. So cold fluid exit temperature you need to find. It's just an example. Any temperatures he may give, but three temperatures will be given. And uh, you know, what you need to do is uh, just equate these equations, MHCPH into capital T1 minus capital T2 equal to MCCPC into small t2 minus small t1. Out of this, MH will be given, CPH will be known, MCCPC will be known, uh, T, uh, any three temperatures will be known. So only one unknown temperature will be here. And one more very important thing is uh, if uh, the fluid is water, and uh, it's a CPC or specific heat is not given, CP is not given, then assume it as 4.184 kilojoule per kg Kelvin. So that is, that's very important. And step three, you calculate Q by using any one uh, equation given below. Like uh, uh, this Q can be calculated either by using Q equal to MC CPC into small t2 minus small t1 or Q equal to MHCPH into capital T1 minus capital T2. So very important is, see, the, while writing the temperatures for, for cold fluid, it's small T2 minus small T1. And for hot fluid, capital T1 minus T2. So this is the difference of the temperature. And step four is uh, very important. Calculate LMTD. Um, so for parallel, uh, actually the LMTD equation is same for both parallel and counterflow heat exchangers. That is LMTD equal to delta T1 minus delta T2 divided by ln of delta T1 minus uh, delta T1 divided by delta T2. But uh, delta T1 and delta T2 changes depending on whether it's a parallel flow or counter flow. For parallel flow, delta T1 equal to, you just refer this diagram, capital T1 minus small T1 delta t1 equal to and delta t2 equal to capital t2 minus small t2 for counter flow uh, you can see the diagram also delta t1 equal to capital t1 minus uh, small t2 
and delta t2 equal to capital t2 minus small t1 so like this it will be written only this is the difference while writing parallel flow and counter flow heat exchangers so step five last step is calculate the unknown parameter from the below equation so q equal to ua lmtd here he may ask you to find out overall heat transfer coefficient area or uh, yeah area or overall heat transfer coefficient will be asked and uh, in that also in area also he may particularly he may ask find the diameter of the tube or find the length of the tube so like that he will ask you in the question uh, so once uh, he if he ask you like uh, diameter or, or length first you find out the you will be uh, knowing these values like q u and lmtd only area area you need to find first then after uh, finding area then find out l or d which one is unknown that you need to find out so this equation may be used to find out uh, uh, overall heat transfer coefficient area or d naught the outer surface area of inner tube or length of the tube so this is about um, the steps uh, involved in uh, solving simple problem of uh, heat exchanger and uh, uh, this parallel and uh, counter flow heat exchangers.